What's up Terrarians and Karakuri members, welcome back to another episode of the Spirit Mod. And today, we are finally ready to take on the Moon Boy Jellyfish Lad, whatever, Moon Jelly Wizard guy. Love it. <laughs> That's his full name. Uh, it's unrepeatable because nobody can say it correctly twice in a row. But the Moon Jelly Wizard is going down tonight. So we gotta get our gate staffs here. We're gonna get all six of them. We're gonna prep for this. I've got my buffs. I've got my dreamlight jelly. So what I had to do, and I was just doing this off recording because I feel like we've done so many events in the last episode. I just needed to do something a little bit more relaxing. So I uh, went ahead and did the events myself, and we actually got a uh, a pretty cool weapon. We got the arc bolter. Now what the arc, arc bolter does, it does. 4 summon tag damage, 14 summon damage itself, your enemies will focus the strike enemies, so like that tag, and then your enemies will also, uh, or the enemies hit will also create static links between each other, dealing additional damage, which is pretty sweet. I think that's a really cool uh, idea. Now, what's kind of hard about that is that the arc bolter is pretty hard to hit in general. It's, it's a tough weapon to aim. It doesn't always aim the way that you want it to, alright? It's, uh... Here, I'll just show y'all. Let me, let me just, you know, this thing's, it's got a horrible range. So there's that. It's just, it's, how do you, I, I can't hit it. I, I'm, in, I'm aiming straight down and I can't hit it. Okay, I actually hit it there. <laughs> but, that being said, um, I'm excited for this. Ooh, did not mean to do that. I'm excited for this fight. I, I'm, I think it's going to go well. I hope it goes well. I would love to move on. I would love to get out of this phase. So let's go ahead and get the jellyfish staff out here. We're going to... We're gonna make the jellyfish fight the jellyfish. That what a combo. We're gonna add a coiled rod. We're gonna go ahead and buff up. I think. Yep, we're gonna buff up. And then we're gonna use a, a dreamlight jelly. And now I could not be more terrified. Oh, what are you Oh, I think I need the knives for this. Yeah, I definitely need the knives. What is this? Come on, fall down this way. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh. This music is sick. It's so loud. All right, all right. Oh, he's doing he's doing the teleport. Oh, he's hitting. He's fighting. We're struggling. Everything is fine. Oh, he's teleporting more. We're taking damage. I should have gotten a better. Oh, it's preemptive. Oh gosh, and then he dashes like that. Cheapers, dude. Can you chill out? Oh, then he stabs the ground and does that some more. Oh gosh. All right, we're learning. Man, there's so much going on. I don't know what to do. Okay, we need to re-put down our coiled staff. We should get a little bit more damage out. And now we can... Ooh! Okay. Are we learning? Are we... Oh, I think we're learning. I think we're doing it. Does he show where he's going to teleport? Oh, he doesn't. Okay, never mind. Dude! He's terrifying. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing okay. Thank you, buffs. I appreciate it. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope you uh, are enjoying this series. By now, the... Uh, I mean, by now, I mean, the Fargo Soul Mod episode is out, and uh, I hope you all weren't too disappointed with that. I, I was really sad, but I just, I'm not good enough. There's something about it. Maybe we'll come back to it. Maybe we won't. Uh, I definitely want to try to get the uh, the last item, whether we cheat it in or not. Um, I don't know how to cheat it in, so I don't even know what, but I definitely want to do like a recap video or something like that of the last item of Fargo Soul Mod, just to show what everything, like, everything that it does, show what use it has, like, how everything kind of correlates with each other. Oh, this is a second phase type thing. Okay, maybe I have to focus up here. Let's use the arc boulder for these little zombies. Oh, 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 okay. I, I was trying to dodge my own arc bolter, or my own, uh, gate staff, thinking it's a part of the boss. All right, please die. No, all right, it's so hard to hit. 106 damage? Oh my goodness! Okay, we're getting out of here. Are you kidding me? You think this is a joke? Oh my gosh. He's actually so close. I need to focus up. Um, but yeah, I've, uh, I've been really enjoying the spirit mod, as I always say in every single episode. I just love it. I really do. Oh, I need to- I, I keep meaning to join the Discord. Are, are you guys a part of the, the Discord for the spirit mod? Oh my gosh. So many things. Okay, we just need to murder him now. Is it dead yet? Nope, not yet. Die, please, and thank you. Four for four. Oh, he's almost dead. Three HP. Oh, he's invincible. Hey, there he goes. Wow. Okay, what do we get? 
We got a Cornucopian, Cornucopian, Cornucopian. 0% crit chance, very strong, hold the charge up, lightning that strikes nearby enemies, hold, charging up for longer periods, creates more strikes, charging up for too long, electrifies the player, can only be used on the surface or higher, shockingly effective. Okay, well I say we take another stab at this, alright. Oh, wait, oh it doesn't get consumed, I thought we needed more of these, okay, that's good to know. So we just do this here, everything's fine, oh, can we teleport, oh my gosh, this fight is incredible. I'm loving this fight, but I'm pretty sure there's a summon weapon that drops in this guy, and I want, I want the summon weapon. So we might end up jump cutting this, but we're actually, we're doing a good chunk of damage right now. I don't know what we're doing differently, but it's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's so much damage. You chill out, dude. You're ridiculous. Oh man, oh wait, can we not hit him multiple times in a row with this? I it hurt, it hurt a lot. It did the damage, oh my goodness. Alright, we did it again. We barely lived that time. Hey, we got it! Lanazo's staff. Please be an actual staff here. Oh, you're actually a summon. Yes. Amazing. Oh, wait, what? Hello? Is it not actually a summon? It goes away! No! Okay. Alright, I see how it is, game. Remember, we're not going to be disappointed, alright? So what? So we do do some of this? That takes away one of my jellyfish, though. You know? I'm just, I'm so confused how this weapon works. Okay, so... Summons in the Moonlight's Preserver. Moonlight Preserver summons smaller jellyfish that explode. Only one Moonlight... Oh, can exist. Using a staff multiple times. Takes up a summon slots, but increasingly... Increases jellyfish spawn rates? Wait, so how... How does this work? Hang on. So it, it does work like how I want it to. Let me try it again. Is it alive still now? I don't, I don't, I don't get what's happening. Huh? I don't. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're gonna. Yeah. Everything's fine. All right. We're good. I'm a little confused, but we'll get there. All right. So what's up next for us? That is a great question. The Brain of Cthulhu is actually next. Um, but I also want to make the Bloodstone Armor or something of the sort. The Blood Armor. which we, The Blood Court. There we go. Increases your maximum of minions. Increases the damage that we do. I'm pretty sure that's better than what we currently have. Because we currently have... Well, increases uh, minion damage by 1. Set bonus well above 70%. Your minions are mana infused. Mana infused minions deal 1 additional damage and glow. But we don't have any uh, actual damage buffs from here. And we don't actually get any defense either. I think we get more defense and more damage. So we're going to go ahead and make these. I'm pretty sure this is better for us. It's Blood Quartz Visage and the Leggings. Bada boom, bada bing. Now we'll go ahead and shade these out. So now we have, oh, hang on, let me check. 15 damage. And now we have 17 defense. Sorry, I meant to say defense, not damage. We actually do less damage? Double tap down to sacrifice 8% of your maximum health and launch a bolt of dark anima dealing high damage in a radius. This bolt siphons it 10 additional health over 5 seconds. Wow. Okay. Increases movement speed and maximum mana. I mean, I feel like this is a better thing. Like, I don't know how we're, we have less damage. But let me go ahead and see how many minions we can have. So, we can get 1, 2. We still can have 2 minions. So, I think we're okay? Question mark? I'm not entirely too sure what's going on here let's go ahead and put away our gold and i'm actually i'm going to go back to the asteroid field because i was told in the comments that there was a small chance that i could not get the weapon that i was farming for in the asteroid field and i kind of want to try it out i want to make sure that's the case where's my alchemist oh there he is he's over here i wanted to see if he sells nope still doesn't sell that ocean one dang it I want to go to the ocean. <laughs> but then we also have the surveyor's scroll. Oh, we have to explore the jungle. Maybe we'll do that today's episode as well. So the uh, surveyor's scroll, we have to explore and map out the following area, the giant beehive. So the giant beehive is a biome in the jungle or a small biome in the jungle. 
and if we go explore it, then we fulfill our surveyor's scroll and we can turn it in as a quest item, which is really sick. And we actually get some pretty cool things for the uh, for completing the quest. So I, I, I enjoy doing them. We've got a bunch of quest items that we have yet to turn in, so we're just like kind of cycling through the different quests. I'm having a blast with it. I think the quest and like all of that, I can we, hang on, actually, let me finish with that. I think it's amazing. And now I'm wondering, is it like the angler quest where if you do all 200-esque or whatever, you get like a final item or something like that? Because that would be sick. That'd be super cool. Now, I don't know how it works, but if that is true, let me know in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. It's freaking awesome. All right, so I actually just went back in to read the comments from before, and it actually looks like the <laughs> the weapon that I'm trying to get is actually after Brain of Cthulhu. So we might actually go do that real quick. I did want to check out, though, what it would look like to use the double tap. That's it? And it uses 8% of my health? Uh, excuse me? Yeah, that ain't it, Chief. I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, so we should go back. Um, we have a closer... Uh, place down here. Actually, I might break two of these orbs while I'm down here just because the uh, That way we don't have to break too many when we're over in the other area. Ooh, ouchie. Oh, actually I, I dodged that one um, Again, I always say it, but I mean like seriously the comments are so helpful and I love reading through them I, I really do enjoy it so so much Ooh, There it is um, <laughs> I always get so distracted when I'm in here because everything can do so much damage and it can be so terrifying Oh, look at that. Two orbs back to back. We'll make a couple of these sticky bombs. Oh, so uh, I am now done with Dutch Bros. I am. I'm so excited. Like, I just I can't wait to just be here and be more present. I feel like life is just. Wait, what? It, oh, two? Wait, what? It breaks in two now? I thought it was three. What is that? What is happening? Uh oh, this is this is bad news bears. Um, coiled rod, okay, and then arc bolter. So, please, arc bolter hit something once. Okay, are we actually gonna fight this right now? Oh my gosh, what the heck? I do not like this one bit. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. Oh, I can't even see anything. I have no buffs. I've got no torches. I've got the breaking through teleporting everywhere. We're actually close to killing something, or some of these stuff. We got our first kill. We got randomly debuffed with the Darken. We got 200 HP, and this is not a good start. Oh my. I dodged my own summon. Good good job, Cargo. We're doing it. Oh, we're actually kind of doing it. I mean, we've killed a few. Why you can't be too bothered by that? For an accidental summon. Did we accidentally break one already? I think we broke one already. I'm like having like flashbacks to the beginning of the playthrough. I'm pretty sure we actually broke one. Oh, that's so weird. Why would I have done that? I, I, why, why would I have done that and not, not remembered, you know? Okay. We're actually... I forgot. I keep forgetting about this bug summon. We're actually kind of doing it. Like, we're, I mean, we're at 200 HP. So it's, we can't be doing it for very long. But I mean, we're at what? A, a couple of creepers left? Oh, and it's ready. Oh, come on, please don't do this to me now. We got this. We got to be smart in how we use our mana. Oh, lots of knockback. Everything's fine. Maybe, uh, maybe use our knives. Can, can we hit this thing? There we go. We've stabbed it finally. Oh my gosh. Why are you teleporting on me like this? Ugh. Get away from me, demon. No, we were so close. 900 HP. Okay. That gives you the confidence that we're actually ready to take on the Brain of Cthulhu, though. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so I actually just got an aching heart, and I'm not even sure what I got this from, but shoots a, or it's a, another summon weapon, or a uh, sentry weapon, and I'm curious to see. Hmm. Oh, but it does piercing damage. Oh, that could be really good, though. Hmm. Do we want to use that instead of the coil? I said we'd give it a shot, so let me... Oh, I can't go on angle platforms like that. I'm currently working on the uh, arena, so I'll probably use this guy right here. I'm gonna. I'm just trying to work on uh, boarding these up so I don't have to deal with these side enemies coming down on me. So I think I've got... No, we've got two out of the entries way, or three out of the five entryways blocked off. I'm gonna get this one mostly blocked off so that people... These demon little... Thi oh my gosh, I can't build. Oh my... What is, what is going on? What are my hands doing? I don't even know. All right. 
we'll do this here. We'll get rid of these wood blocks because I wanted to conserve wood as much as possible. And now we can head down here and we can break two of these. We'll buff up again. We'll do this, do that, and then bomb this. One, two, three, and we should be fine there. We've got another one. Got do that there. Uh, arc bolter. Everything is fine. Man, it just shoots so poorly. I think. Ooh, I don't like it. We'll use the coil rod. That one's a little bit more accurate, and it shoots a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely better. Okay, we gotta use this guy again. All, all of the guys, all, all the summons. Look how many summons we have, though. I mean, this is like a pre-hard mode, pre-hard mode summoner, and we have like eight different weapons that we're using. And technically, we could use the gate staff. <gasps> Oh, if we don't beat it this time, gate staff would be sick. We could like get this whole area just full of gate staffs. I feel like gate staff is the meme. You know, when in doubt, gate staff it out because we've got like eight billion gate staffs. But I think I think we have it this time. We're doing loads of damage. Okay, maybe another one of these guys. Maybe, maybe kill, kill it, please, please. Oh, we're doing it now. All right, how about we use the sacrificial dagger to actually hit this thing? Ooh, okay, we did it. Sacrificial dagger is enabled. Everything is fine. We're gonna use these guys now. We're gonna keep using them. Yeah, this is a way better. We're at max HP. We actually have an arena. Everything is fine. Look at all those creeps being held out of here. These things are so annoying. Ooh. Yeah, Brandon Cthulhu, you're easy peasy. Brandon Cthulhu on Feather Worthy for the Worthy. Oh, it's so difficult. Uh, Badger was saying that he thinks it's the hardest uh, boss in all of uh, Featherworthy for where you're at in the stage of the game. It's like, dang! Imagine like having the hardest boss like in the second boss of the game. This is ridiculous. I guess technically the third boss, but Ooh, hit it! Ooh. Oh, guy actually got hit. Oh, I can't even tell which one it is. Thank you, Summons, for actually being able to tell. I appreciate that. And look at that, Brandon Cthulhu, you're down. You're over with. We're out of here. Let's go home. So I do not care to do that again, unless, yeah, as I was say, I don't think there's a summon damage, or a summon weapon that would come out of this. Nope, let's grab our tissues, let's grab everything else, I think that's it. Let's go home, everything is fine, and we're making good progress. Now, what time is it in the daytime? It looks like it's, it's 9.40, okay. Now, I know uh, at least one of you guys was saying that they love the, uh, the Distress Jelly event, I can't remember what it's called, the Jelly Fuge? Something like that. I want to show it off. You know, I, I, I was going to like just like skip it because we already did it and got everything that we needed out of it. But I felt bad. I was like, I know you guys want to see the spirit mod. So how could I possibly limit you guys and what you want to see? Because this this is actually really sick. It actually looks really cool. It's a little bit annoying in the sense that like there's a lot of enemies and a lot of things happening. Where's my, oh, my coil. Oh, I quick sacked my coil right away. Well, shoot. But yeah, the uh, I'm kind of in this weird spot. I went too high up in this arena, and the they only spawn at the island, which is so funny. And the island's too low; it's not actually in the biome. So maybe oh, do I have rope on me? No, maybe I just like sit on one of these guys, you know? That way they can continue to spawn in. But uh, yeah, I had a battle potion trying to get more dream eaters or things. Oh yeah, look at this. <gasps> maybe I can catch it. Ugh, I got a dream light jelly. Yeah, we did it. The skills. But yeah, the theme of this, it seems like it's so like relaxing. You're like, oh, I just could go to sleep with this theme. And then there's like a billion enemies trying to murder you. And you're like, oh my gosh. Well, that's the event. I want to show it off a little bit. We've already done it, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Um, now, we got to see what tissue samples can make us. Because we can now make a bunch of things. Or hopefully. So tissue. T t t t oh, we're at, uh, we're at this. There we go. We'll grab one of these. Uh, I gotta get out of the crafting recipe. Let's see. Anything summoning? Being struck by an enemy poisons them. Increases defense for one every poisoned enemy near you. Oh, that's kind of sick. Um, no, don't care for you. Don't care for that. Not at all. Oh, we can now make the, uh, the coiled cleats. Something I was looking at earlier. Um, is there a summon one? Oh, <gasps> summons the protector of the briar. Oh, I think we have this. Oh, we should totally do that. And then we can also make the Alchemist NPC, or the Alchemist Charm Tier 2. Yeah, we need to do this. Okay, so we need to make our... Oh, another Meteorite! Oh, that's good. That is real good. So let's make some bars. 
So crimtain bars. Oh, I'm in the wrong crafting interface. Crimtain bars. So we'll craft what? Let's say 35 of those. Yeah, that makes sense. And then we'll make a pickaxe. Perfect. We got the Deathbringer. And then, oh, what's this thing called? Well, oh, shoot, hang on. I forgot. The Bramble Tooth. Bramble Tooth. Yeah, you, you're mine now. Boom. Got plenty of that. Oh, it's consumable. Oh, are you the protect? Oh, I thought the Bramble Tooth was a summon. It's a. <laughs> I thought it was a. You could see how I would think that, right? Because these are all accessories for specific classes. Okay. Oh, the strike shield. This is what I'm looking for. Being struck by enemies may damage them slightly. Being struck by enemies also causes minions to target them. Three summon tag damage to enemies that hurt the player for a second duration. Eh, I kind of like our little sword guy. I kind of like our rogue's crest. But, uh, <laughs> you can see I'd be confused, alright? And let's go ahead and also make our alchemist charm. So we'll do that. I think we need more crimtain bars, though. Crimtain? So let's do... Oh, no, we don't. Um... Alchemist, because we should have one in here. Yeah, we do. Amazing. Tier 2 charm. I need to make this more often in my Let's Plays. I al always forget about it until, like, last second. Did I? Oh, I <laughs> didn't realize I did that. Okay, so we're looking pretty good now. What do we want to do next? Oh, we want to go to the Asteroid Field and actually get our summon. Yeah, we should end the episode on getting our summon. The one that we've been desperately trying to get. I, I say we do that. Let me grab our battle potions, and then let me see if the actual alchemist sells this dang potion to teleport me over there, because I hate traveling over there. Yes, it does. Oh, amazing. And we're so much closer. It's literally right here. Oh, that is the best thing ever. I actually might use the distress jelly, because distress jelly like increases the spawn rate of the asteroid field. Oh, we should totally do this. Yeah, we're doing it. Uh, can I not? Oh, it's still that event. Oh, I already used one tonight. So we'll get these summoned. And then, oh, things are happening. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Maybe we weren't prepared for this. Uh, inking heart. And then we'll try our best to use the arc boulder. Uh, this, this weapon is so cool. Like, the effects of it are awesome. But it's so bad. <laughs> I can't hit anything with it, you know? Like, the, the Sacrificial Dagger, I mean, it is on. It is, like, it is so hard to miss with this thing. Alright, I would absolutely love to get my weapon out of this. I, I have been wanting this weapon since the beginning of this playthrough. Like, come on. We got the Astronaut Pants. We're, we're killing all these things. I believe in us. I really do. I think we're gonna get it. I think we're ready to get a Terraria Lottery ticket, alright? Maybe, maybe my game's just bugged, you know? Maybe I can't. Oh, the next time, the next one, we got it. No way. Okay, let's check this thing out. Oh, yes. It's exactly what I wanted. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, imagine if we got this too early, though. We would be so overpowered. Like, ridiculously overpowered. Yes, we finally got it. Oh, amazing. Maybe now we can get the, the mime mask. But, I mean, we're making fantastic progress. I am very excited about this. We did, did we even use a battle potion? I don't think we did. It's probably a good thing. Probably would have died by now. Because we are pretty low HP. Let me see if I can grab our last little things. You know what? I'm actually... I'm done. I'm going to head out. We did it. We're going home. All right. So, what's next on our list? The Vine Wraith... Ba Vine Wrath Bane. There we go. We got the Snap Trapper. What is that? Snap Trapper. The Snap Trapper spawns rarely on the jungle surface after the Eater of Worlds or Brand Cthulhu has been defeated. Oh. And we got the Beholder. Spawns rarely in uh, Marble Caverns after the Eater of Worlds or Brand Cthulhu has been defeated. I didn't realize this. We're on track here. Look at this. Look at this checklist. We've done almost everything. Or we have done everything so far. Very nice. Maybe we'll have to do Old One's Army again. I don't really want to. But, I mean, if we have to for the, the sake of actually um, of doing everything, I think it might be worth it so with that being said thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video go ahead and skelly man hand slap that like button for me i would greatly appreciate it you guys know i love that animation all right if you like the new profile pic i know i talked about it in the last episode but if you liked it please let me know 
I think Mythical Water did amazing with it. And I just, I, I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it looks so, so cool. Well, thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.